Code Camp JavaScript Algos and Data Structures. We are in the ES6 course on challenge 23 of 29, and we're going to use the all to import everything from a file. So I read this as use all to import everything, but it's the asterisk to import everything from a file. So the little asterisk symbol, that's the eight if you hold shift, or hold shift, tap eight, that's the, the symbol you get. So uh, if, for example, we want to import all the contents from a file, so from this mathfunctions.js file, if we had a bunch of functions within that and we just wanted to import all of them, we can use this import asterisk character or syntax to import everything that was exported from a file. So in the last two lessons we learned about importing exporting uh, and how to import export specific functions or variables or whatever from a file. Now we're learning how we can import everything without specifying. We're just going to take everything that's exported from a file and import it to this file. We can do that with the import asterisk as variable name from file name. Okay, so that was kind of a lot, but you're always going to use the import asterisk as, and then you can name the object. So it's going to import all the variables, all the whatever was exported from the file. It's going to import all of them as an object. So you name your variable here, and then you say from whatever file. Uh, we did talk about it in the last couple lessons. The dot slash syntax refers to a file that is uh, in the same directory. Okay, so the dot literally refers to the same directory, and then the slash is a file path, just like uh, if you look at the browser, you know, it's freecodecamp.org slash learn slash whatever. This is the path to the file. So it's current directory slash this file. That's the actual file that's being delivered. So we're importing everything as this object name from this file. Okay, and then when, if we wanted to access the methods, variables, whatever we imported in this all, we can access them through the object. It now has properties for any method or function, any variable. We can just use dot notation or bracket notation to access those properties within the object. So as you can see, we have a add and subtract. In the previous examples, if you guys went through those two, you saw in the math functions JS, they have an add and subtract function. So you can see how to access those directly through the math my math module that we just imported. Okay, so that's really all we have to do to import everything. Um, this is kind of the whole idea of modularization is that we can import just what we want or we can import everything. We have control, which is what you want as a programmer. You want to be in uh, control of the code. Okay, so all we're going to do here is import everything from this string functions string underscore functions dot js file that's in the same directory as the current file so once again the dot refers to the current directory you always have to use that in an actual code editor when referring to a file in the same folder and you have to use you know dot dot slash if it's in the folder above or you know dot slash folder name slash file name if it's in the you know a nested folder Essentially, it has to be the path to the file. So here, we're going to assume it's in the same folder, and we're going to import everything as an object called string functions. So let's do that. We're really just using the same syntax just for this string functions object and from the string functions file. So here, all we have to say is, just like this example, import all asterisk as string camel case functions from and then the dot slash because it's in the same directory uh, in VS code or in your code editor when you type this quote dot slash it really should pull up the IntelliSense which is the autocomplete and it should show you the files that it's actually seeing that it's sensing uh, are in the same folder so here in free code camp in this little sandbox, it's not going to do that, but normally in VS Code or in any other code editor, it'll have that autocomplete so you know, okay, yeah, I'm referencing the same folder I'm in, I can actually see the files that are in there. So here, we're just going to have to type it out and assume there is a file called string underscore functions dot js, because that's what they told us is here. So there we go, that's all we have to do for that one. And now you can see in the example below, they're accessing the object that we just imported, that we just created, uh, that has all the functions from that file, and they're accessing the function uppercase string and 
calling it here. So that's how you can use the functions that you just imported from whatever file. So we should run the test and we can see that that does pass and that's all we had to do for that one. I hope that helped, hope that made sense. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave some comments and I will get back to you as soon as possible and I'll see you in the next video.